Perry, thank you for joining me today. So tell us a little bit about this beautiful ballroom that we're in right now. Oh, I'd love to. The building's called the Taborian Hall. In probably the late 80s, I would drive down the freeway and I would see it on my way to work. And I would think, oh, what a beautiful old building. If Arkansas Flag and Banner ever gets big enough, I'm gonna put it in a building just like that. Well, right after the Desert Storm War, flags were selling like crazy. And that was like 1990, I think was the Desert Storm War. And I got enough money to buy this building. So I crept down here and it was, you know, abandoned and there was a hole in the roof and the windows were out. I just fell in love with the Dreamland Ballroom. You could see the stage, you could imagine what it was. And I often tell people it was almost like a spiritual experience when I saw it. And so that became my quest. And um, it went from renovating it for $100,000. All I wanted to do was put a roof on it, move into the first floor, and I'd have been happy. And I thought it would cost $100,000, and I, I um, found a bank that would loan me the money. We, we broke ground the weekend of Thanksgiving in 1991. So pretty much your first job out of school was starting your own business. Yes, when I graduated school, it was 1974 and we were in a big recession. And the degree that I wanted to do, which was be a buyer for Neiman Marcus, wasn't gonna happen because the first thing you give up is eating out and buying clothes. So I went to Snelling and Snelling and looked for a job. And because, you know, one thing that's different between me today and my children of today is my children can be selective about the job they want. I can't be selective about the job I wanted when I was getting out of school. I needed money, I needed to make rent. I couldn't go a week going, that job doesn't really fit me, it's not in my degree. I mean, it was like I had to have money to make rent, so I went straight to Snelling and Snelling, and it was very, very scary, but it, like you always hear, it's the scary stuff that builds your character. And I, you know, I learned to sell door to door. And I, I, I worked there six months and got really homesick. And I moved home, really homesick, and I was talking to my mother and she said, why don't you come home and sell flags here? And I said, how do I do that? And she said, you just start one day at a time. We'll take each thing as we get to it, but I know you have to have a city permit. So go get a city permit and we'll start. And so I did, I went and got a city permit. I called the Secretary of State's office. I said, where are you buying your flags? And they said, California. I said, well, you don't have to anymore. You can buy them from me, I'm right here. I called the Little, school, the Little Rock School District. Where are you buying your flags? New York, well, you don't have to. I live right here now. And I started just selling flags business to business. So what advice would you give to young women wanting to start their own business? And one of my employees told me one time, life is unfinished. And the peace that that brought me, I cannot even tell you. It is unfinished. Everybody gets the exact amount of hours in a day and it's unfinished. And if you just get up every morning and put one foot in front of the other all day long, you're gonna get somewhere. So my advice to entrepreneurs is to just keep doing something and you never know where it's gonna lead you. You never know, I never thought I'd be selling flags. For the full in-depth interview with Carrie and more videos, check out earnspinlive.com.